Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In this tech note, I'm going to show you how to download files from a, an ESP8266. There's the ESP8266 or the ESP32. That's the MHT Live version, both with plug-in SD card shields. So we're using the HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and HTML as the interface to select the file for download from the ESP. In this version I'm using the SD card but it's easily converted to the SPIFS, the SPI flash filing system. Here's the server running. To begin with I'll do a directory of the SD card. There's a number of files. I'm going to select 4.txt I'm going to press download. I'm going to enter 4.txt enter and then save as to a folder call it a temporary one files already there but i'm going to overwrite it press save yes i want to overwrite and there it is complete just check the directory again this time i'm going to download 5.txt type in the file name just clear that box and then enter save as and there it's complete and clear that just check the directory again now i'm going to download the file called example.txt i'm going to copy and paste save me typing paste that into the input box and then enter save as and there the file is downloaded so that shows you the server selecting a file and downloading the file. So in these examples we're using either the ESP8266 or the ESP32 with a plug-in SD card module or as I've shown depicted there you can use an external card and wire it directly. It's the SPI bus but you must ensure you select the right chip select pins in the source code. There's a tab for the uh, hardware elements and on the ESP32 it will not function unless there's a pull-up resistor on the um, master in slave out pin but luckily the ESP32 has a pull-up resistor command so I've set that in the program and then it works fine. Here I'm depicting that the server is running continually checking waiting for a client to connect and when the client does connect it will listen or expect a command either the home page a download command or a directory command and that's what it's doing at the first stage of you connecting your uh, browser or pc client to it in this example i've selected the directory command and it's shown me the contents of the sd card Note that in this particular release of the code, I'm only going to cover the download version. It's not going to include the directory function, but later on I will give you the uploads and deletions of files and of course directory of, of the card itself or spiffs. So all this applies equally to spiffs as it does SD card. Next I've uh, selected the 4.txt file and I've selected download option either from the bottom command line or from one of the buttons on the center of the screen and it's expecting me now to type in the file name. Here I've entered the uh, file name I wish to download 4.txt and I've pressed enter and now it's saying do you wish to open or save the file? I'm going to go save if I'm going to do save as and at the end of the operation there's the file downloaded to my folder so data folder temporary data folder so there you are it is a uh, it works it's a, a method of um, transferring files across the network to your ESP8266 or ESP32. 
In summary then, using the web server provides uh, a useful interface and it enables you to transfer files. You can download them, upload them, erase them and do directory listings. And that client server interface is a useful uh, method of doing that. Um, it cho follows your chosen commands and it works. So in the follow on videos, I'll show you next one how to upload files to your ESP. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.